I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Çekerdim çıkıyor tuvalet. Daha mı ya? Daha mı kat dostlar? Ne var mı var mı çıkıyor? Şimdi çıkıyor ya ben de. Evet evet o kat dostlar. Bu ne? Prenç başlaştıktan da. Bu bu su için emez bu. Bunu kek kılazan turadı mı? Kek hem okuyla sarkıydı ben. Kayarda okuyla sarkıydı. 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 Ne kadar pridumu bu zıpla. Kayarda okuyla sarkıydı. Simişin oldu. Sıyışkın jitki kımada. Jitki kımada. Su okuyla Sıçtım zıt kekim var. Kek sıçtım zıt kekim var. Bak ne oldu ya? Başka bunu hiç başka yaparken cöyü bulmasın. Başka yok. Başka yok. Hmm. Hmm.
What are you been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface.
Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you, all right. Gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Hello, how you are you so nice, guys? Huh? you just stop crowding him. Brother, <sighs> back, Artyom. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. Guys, I like so this. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. fantasies in a silent world. Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a hunter off limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Here, now. There's just no way anything can live up here but monsters. Look, maybe we should come back to the Order. We will move to Golan. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go, it turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa.
We take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
damned watchman broke through. <sighs> His workers are done for. Keep your weapon clean when you open it. If anything comes through, shoot. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Oh. Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman? A human? How did you... Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay. They took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it. They didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Senya, go tell the one. Don't rush. Oh, you turned quite Both crouched. Again, it's quieter that you way. Can use your head after all. <laughs> Stay close to the wall. Technician, see. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me over it. Take him down. Can you do it quietly? Business, that's what. What are you even doing standing here? Don't you have What's shit to do? Mumbling? Everyone got to ask questions. No, I'm just talking to myself. I got the memory problem. Get to work. Ah, oh, you're mad. Time to fit that point. Yeah. No! Wait, wait a moment. 
it. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. This is trouble. <laughs> Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? I'm Dreyan Valdovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, 
be careful. Artoon, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice.
Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch the young. turntable mechanism on. Turntable on. Get the 
Those intense. Are you okay? Hey, there's a manual drive on the platform. It's hard to Atia find. Ready, steady. Ready, steady. Steady, ready. All right, shoot these two. And as for the engineer, what do you mean shoot these two? Don't you dare give me a limp soldier here. The colonel will give you peace of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Dad, guys, it's us. Help us. What the hell? What are you doing here? Talk about surprise. Well, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastard shot our children! Be quiet! Be How did you end up here? Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hans, I can't take this line. No, oh, shit, the water so No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, about, there are so people from other cities, dead. All of them, women, children. children. I'll tell you all later. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call and you're misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. There's no one behind. It's it's not us. Us. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them!
was just a warning. If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said anything. Oh, fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, then stop uh, it. But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Your back will start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, finally some good stuff. Now, keep writing to a stop. Well, grenades will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir! I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he's starting to talk, and he better do something about it. Our team will leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic is that you, Yakov? You, you can't stop me. You can't say shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just go to town for it until the excitement quiets down. And you just go up and fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What do you call it, man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plan? Treason? We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause. You sold out. They destroyed us and you? I have been a soldier my whole life. I have dedicated my life to my people, my country. I'll be damned if I give it to parents like you! Time's up, Colonel Miller! Easy! We are slowing down! The brakes on this thing are busted! Don't sweat it, Colonel! My people will help you handle it!
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm with the stalker! I'm not with him! They made me! Just don't shoot! Don't Now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God 